God the Creator personally loves you and cares about you. Did you know that in Matthew 10 and 30, God says the very hairs of each of one of our heads is numbered personally. It has a number. When we say that God loves you, what does that really mean? And what is love? Love is that endearing value that every person gives a sense of their importance as an object of your favour. The one that you love, you cherish and you hold them apart, you separate them to yourself and you show them high favour. Therefore, when God says he loves us, it means that we are very special and we are very valuable to him. We are so valuable to him and he values us at the very price that he paid for us, which was the precious blood of his son. Imagine him taking a record of every single one of our hairs of our head. Everyone is numbered. He didn't just say, I've counted everyone. He's numbered every strand of our hair, even the ones that are missing. So that means every hair has its own personal code number from God. Not one of them falls off without him actually recording it. Even the sparrows don't fall to the ground without God noticing it. This is the care that God takes for each and every single one of us. If we can understand his love for us and all that crying and feeling sorry for ourselves because of what we were going through is totally unnecessary. We would give no room to selfishness or greed. He cares so much for us. He loves us personally and in particular. In 1 Corinthians 12 and 27, he says, Now you are the body of Christ and you are members in particular. That word particular actually means individual parts, definite parts. In the Amplified Version, it says that now you collectively are Christ's body and individually you are members of it for each part severally and distinct, each with its own place and its own function. In Ephesians 5 and 29, God says, For no man has ever yet hated his own flesh, but he nourishes it, and he cherishes it even as the Lord cherishes and nourishes the church. This is so wonderful. With all the fear and discouragement that's in the world today, the Lord is bringing us this message as an indication of his fervent love for us. He is nourishing us through his word, lifting our spirits, strengthening our faith, building us up because he cherishes each one of us. We are special to him. He says in 1 John 3 and 1, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Even in the Amplified even more richer. Jeremiah 31 3 says, And the Lord appeared from of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, it is with loving kindness that I've drawn you and I've continued my faithfulness to you. And then we look up um, 1 John 4 and 6, which says in the Amplified, 1 John 4 and 6. And we know, we understand, we recognize and are conscious of by observation and by experience and belief, adhere to, put faith in, rely on that love of God 
but knowing that he cherishes us. For God is love, and he who dwells and continues in love dwells and continues in God, and God continues to dwell in us. What a promise. 1 John 3, 1, that we read before. In the Amplified it says, See what an incredible quality of love the Father has given, has shown and bestowed on each one of us, that we should be permitted to be named and called and counted as the children of God, and so we are. The reason that the world does not know or recognize or acknowledge us is that it does not know, recognize or acknowledge him. So this is a bold confession that we can pray. If you repeat this out after me, it will decree and declare God's word. Righteous and loving Father. Righteous and loving Father. Thank you for loving me with an everlasting love. Thank you, Father, for loving me with an everlasting love. Your arms of love are ever outstretched to embrace me. Your arms of love are ever outstretched to embrace me. And your love for me is unconditional and eternal. And your love for me is both unconditional and eternal. I walk every day in and with the consciousness of your unfailing love. I walk every day in and with the conscious awareness of your unfailing love. Even as I've become a vent, an outlet of your liquid love to my world. Even as I've become a vent, an outlet, an expression of your liquid love, dispensing your love to all the people in my world. In Jesus' name, amen. So be blessed and decree and declare it, knowing that as I speak God's word out into the atmosphere, it changes the atmosphere and the words of God are making demons powerless and helpless They're strengthening angels and weakening demons and building up my spirit and the spirits of all the people who hear God's word. And his word will never come back empty. It will accomplish what it was sent forth to do. Continue to decree it and declare it.